welcome back to another episode of the HC2 Resilience Challenge. This is your host, Coach Danny, and today we're going to be talking about day 21, Sunday, April 12th, which is also Easter. Happy Easter. Um, I know you guys may not be working out today. You might be spending time with family, but we want to give you some options. So first, we'll start out with what we have on the list for our Metcon. Um, for our warm-up, we're going to start 400-meter run or one minute of jumping jacks and 15 burpees. Then we'll be doing three rounds, 10 broad jumps, 10 push-ups to downward dog, 10 sit-ups, and 10 reverse lunge steps. Um, once we get through that warm-up, we're going to go into American Graffiti. Now, this workout is very similar to yesterday's in terms of the work-rest-work time frame, um, but it's a little bit different in what we're executing. Now, um, if you have no equipment, we'll be doing seven minutes of work that starts with the buy-in of 20 frog jumps and 20 kick up to a handstand for two seconds or 40 seconds total. Now, um, if you're not comfortable doing handstands, you'll be doing downward dog hold for five seconds times 20 reps. I want you guys to break it up between the frog jumps and the handstands or downward dog so that you're always moving and you never need to take a step back and just rest entirely. Um, if you have some equipment, um, dumbbells, you're gonna be doing 12 single arm dumbbell clean and jerks per arm first before we go out for our run. If you have a barbell and plates, go ahead and load them up and you'll be doing 10 power clean and jerks followed by a run. Now in each seven minute interval, you'll start with those movements and once you complete them, you're gonna use the remainder of the seven minutes to run as far as you're able. When the seven minutes is up, you're gonna rest for one minute and then we'll start again with that buy-in of our frog jumps and handstand or downward dog hold or our single arm dumbbell clean and jerks or our power clean and jerks. Then we'll go out for a run with the remaining time for as far as possible. And then once the seven minutes is up, you have completed the workout. Now for this, um, this workout here, if you're doing the frog jumps and handstand or downward dog holds, like I said, mix them up back and forth, just moving from one to the other, because one is mostly lower body, the other is mostly upper body. So you should be able to transition nicely and still keep moving. Um, if you're not confident doing handstand holds, go right ahead and start with downward dogs. But if you are on the fence a little bit, I would say start with some handstand holds and then modify to downward dog as needed. Um, if you're doing clean and jerks with either a dumbbell or a barbell, you're going to hit them at a fast pace, but only if you're moving well and technique is on point. So fast singles are going to be the ticket for most people, meaning clean and jerk, drop the bar, deep breath or two, grab, go again. Okay. Um, they should be completed and under in three minutes or less, but it should be heavy enough that you can't finish them in less than a minute and a half or 90 seconds. All right, now when you go out for your run, everybody should be starting their run at about their mile pace and then just holding on as long as possible until the seven minutes are up. If you run longer than a mile, make sure that you note it. Um, let us know, put it in the comments. Actually, either way, whatever it is that you run, I want you to put it in the comments on True Coach so that we can see. Um, and our goal overall is to run at least a mile combined from the two intervals or 3,200 meters, which is two miles, all right, after about two to three minutes to complete the clean and jerks or 90 seconds to complete the frog jumps and handstand holds. Um, now, that said, you might all be busy tomorrow, right, with Easter stuff, but there is something that we have for you that you can do with the family. Um, it's kind of an Easter egg hunt workout. So basically, if you have some plastic eggs or you can go pick some up today, um, collect them and then figure... 10 per um, child and up to 20 per adult. What you're going to do is you're going to take little pieces of paper and you're going to write down exercises or fun things to do on them and put them inside of the eggs. Um, then if it's exercises, um, little kids can do three reps, big kids can do five reps, and adults can do 10 reps, or you can write the rep amount on each slip of paper or however you decide to go about it. But just put fun things in to the eggs, right? So um, you can add money, you can spin in place five times, you can do a 20 second dance party, drink a mimosa, push ups, um, air squats, burpees, etc. Right? So I want you guys to team up, whether it's, you know, person versus person, or you have teams, say kids versus adults, right? Um, have one team go and hide the eggs. And then the other team will go and hunt for it. And as you're hunting, when you find an egg, open it right away and then do what it says. This is just kind of a fun way to get the family involved on Easter um, and to 
get moving and get everybody laughing and please if you do this make sure that you get some videos or pictures and post them to social media and tag us all right guys um we hope you have an awesome day ahead happy easter and we'll see you back tomorrow